May it please the court and opposing counsel, this video comprises two-thirds of my offer of proof. The remaining third, of course, will be oral argument. I think the issue is very clear and it's very simple. May I, as a reporter, question Kelly Ayotte and the GOP at publicly advertised events? That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But along the way, I ran into a lot of racism, virulent racism, as you can see. And I've asked Kelly Ayotte to repudiate uh, that, that type of activity and to inform groups like them that she doesn't need their vote. I was told by the campaign that you're not welcome here today. By the campaign? That's correct. Long time no see, see brother. Yes. It's good to see you, Christopher. <laughs> you too. Kelly Ayotte invited me on <laughs> your yeah, Facebook, you okay? to leave now. Listen. Listen. If you don't leave, I'm going to call the police. Right? Here's the security no, guard. Yeah. Where is it? Bring the security guard yeah, over. Sure. Yes, sir. This is private property. Okay. The public invite was offered. I offered to pay my money to be here. She has a public event, invites the public. I come here to ask a couple of questions, and you guys give me the bums rush. Okay? And that's, that's not cool, man. Person. You have been disinvited. You because haven't why? Paid. My money's not good enough? That's right. Now leave. Why not? Why is my money good enough? You need to leave now. Oh, you, you don't want my money out? Now. Listen. This is oh. private property. Did you just hear him? You need to leave. And a public invite. Do the only like, reason do you, you don't want me here. Do you want me to call the Manchester Police Department? I'd be happy to. Are you going to have false arrest? Do you want false me to arrest? call him or not? Call him. There's no reason for you to ask me to leave, except you have a content-based issue with what I'm doing here. And that's not cool, man. You understand? To hear you. I just explained to this yeah, guy right here, okay? Yes, the Franconia shooting tragedy. On that day, like three years ago, I was complimenting Kelly on some things she was doing. That day, a cop got shot and killed, all right? And a passerby comes by and then kills this kid with the cop's gun immediately. Kelly clears this guy in 24 hours, even though he's a multiple felon on all kinds of drugs, okay? Clears him in 24 hours. She did not address the fact that the man said at first that he never spoke to the kid before he shot him. She used the third version of his story. I'm not being hostile. I just wanted to ask a question. I got the bums rush, okay? And just because I like some Republicans doesn't mean I have to like them all. Yeah, but okay? I mean, you know, the thing is that the problem with the Republican Party right now is Republicans are doing so much damage to each other, fighting each other, when we're, we're not helping each other at all by being divisive. We well, you know, I have a particular issue with this candidate that I've raised, and it's a legitimate issue. and all of a sudden because I pointed out a lot of flaws in her so-called investigation and that's going to be part of the movie when Casey Sherman's movie comes out too. So you know it's not just me, it's a lot of people have a lot of questions. So she has a public event, invites the public, I come here to ask a couple of questions and you guys give me the bums rush, okay? And that's, that's not cool, man. Long time no see, brother. Yes. Good to see you, Christopher. <laughs> you too. Well, what brings you out today? What I'm do you? The chairman of the Republican City Committee. What do you? He's running for. I know. I know. Hey, Jim. Good. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Um, I'm uh, Di Lothrop. Uh, who, who are you? Kingcast.net. I'm sorry. Kingcast.net. King. Kingcast.net. Kingcast.net. Yes. Okay. I, so are you? You're here as a uh, media. Press? Yes. Did you uh, sign in? Yes, I have. Okay. He's a troublemaker. I've told everybody. That. Okay. <laughs> but we agreed on some things. But I always say he's a good troublemaker. Just, I hope he'll stick to good troublemaker. Yeah, I stick to my. We don't disrupt the. Uh, I stick to my constitutionally protected freedoms, and that's nothing more, nothing less. Okay. I'm just being a reporter today. There you go. All right. Were you aware that they tried a similar initiative here in the uh, Monadnock Valley about five years ago? Uh, they tried to criminalize uh, being an undocumented worker at that time, and they made it into trespassing. Were you aware of that failed initiative five years ago? No, I'm not aware of it, but they may have been ahead of the game. But by the way, have they been successful? Uh, no, that failed. Um, also, do you honestly think that uh, undocumented workers are the, the cause of our economic woes in this country? I and mean, there's plenty of M1 and M2 going around in the world. I mean, is it, you know, really First to, of all, to lay on them? They are criminals. Don't touch me. 
Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. Leave Don't touch my leave equipment. Me. That's an extension of me. Leave my Don't area. touch me, you officer. Leave they cannot area. touch me. Okay. Okay. I'm a member of the press. Yes, I do. Can I take a look at that? Yes, I'm a member of NEMPA. I've been a number for a year and a half now, sir. Okay? So I don't have to go anywhere. Because this is a private event. Uh, and I'm a member of the media. You can ask me to leave, You're but I'm not going to. You're not a member of the media. I am so. I cover murder trials where is in your, Boston, okay? Where is your I've already bat? shown the officers that I'm a member of New England News and Press, okay? I don't need to do Can anything else. Can I see else. your credentials? I, I've shown them to the officers already. What's your name? My name is Di Lothrop. Very well. I'm the manager of this event. Very well, but you're not the First Amendment czar, okay? So I'm here. But I'm a member of the press. But this is a private event, and I am asking you to leave. And members of the press are leaving. No, you're asking me to leave because this it's viewpoint-based discrimination. This is a private event. You've seen my credentials, and you can't make me leave, okay? You're telling me I'm not a member of the media? Excuse me, this gentleman is now telling me that I'm not a member of the media. I cover murder trials in Boston, okay, with the same credentials that every media person has. Don't whisper in his ear now, you know, you can talk to me. You can talk to me. This is the face of the new fascism. If looks could kill, Ryan Williams has given it to me in spades. And so is that officer Hargraves. And what's the basis? I want to get it clear. What's the basis Private for this? Private function. Private function. Yeah. Go ahead and okay. get your stuff together and we're going to head out, okay? And it's not viewpoint-based discrimination? Do you, your, do you want me to pick your stuff up or are you going to pick it up yourself? Wait, so it's a private function. These yeah. are members of the media right here at this private they've been, function. They've been invited. They were? Uh, you guys get a personal advice or did you just sign in? What was your process when you, you got to the door, guys? So what was your process? Are you going to pick your stuff up? No, I'm just trying to figure out before that happens, officer. I just want to be clear about this, okay? Private function. Okay. You're being asked and, to leave. And no, I'm being singled out to leave. That's what's going on. And everybody here knows it, okay? These guys are members of the media just like I am. So why am I being selected to leave? The people there are asking you to leave. Yep. To leave. It's That's totally viewpoint based discrimination. You know it is, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is, I mean, is this the hallmark? Is this, remember the GOP a couple years ago when they arrested all those people? Is this what's going on here now? Go ahead and pick up your stuff and let's head out. Why? I want to see where these guys got invites. Because you've been asked to leave. Because why? Because Kelly Ayotte doesn't like me? Is that why I got asked to leave? Are you going to leave? Or are you going to get arrested? So I want to be clear. You are threatening me with arrest. That's is correct. that correct? That's correct. On whose orders? The, the people that are running the show. It's a private function. Now, while those two white cops are busy staring me down, where is that African-American Latino cop looking? He's staring them down. He ain't staring at me. This guy's going to make a great witness. I just want to be clear that I was threatened with arrest. Are you going to leave? In America. Are you going to leave or are you going to get arrested? Oh, well, I got things to do today, so I'll probably leave. Okay, go ahead and get your stuff together then. All right, I just want to be clear about this. Brother, it's good to see you, Christopher. <laughs> you too. Well, truth be known, it wasn't that good to see Dennis this time. Certainly not as good as it was back in the school board days when I brought the issue of a restrictive speech covenant, you know, before the attention of the board and we changed the policy. How about that? Let me understand this, officer. I want to get it clear, okay? Are there other media inside? Now, the thing that you need to be clear about is that you're not going inside. I you're ask you a simple question, officer. I'm not being rude or loud. I ask you a simple question. Are there media inside? I see there is media inside. Now, I'm being denied the right to go inside. Did, 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 did they read the opinion yesterday from Attorney William uh, Chapman that was in the paper? Okay. Make sure people can get in and out. Oh, people can get in and out. I'm not okay, blocking good. anybody very here, good. officer. Very good. Very I'm going to ask you once again, for about the third time, are other media inside? Yes, it's a yes or no question, officer. Fisher, correct. Yeah. How you doing? Officer? Okay. Yeah, so uh, despite what happened yesterday, and we saw the uh, opinion of William Chapman, that there's no distinguishment between other reporters and me, I am locked out of here. I guess that if I proceed to try to go in, I assume I'll get arrested. Is that right, officer? Yes. Uh -huh. Under, under whose orders is that? You're correct. Whose orders? Who, who gave you those orders, sir? I was told by the campaign that you're not welcome here. Typically. By the campaign? That's correct. I see.